When does a story become a story? When you introduce conflict. Until that point, all you have is a series of facts. Here's a quick example. A young woman dreams of her perfect job. She moves to a new city. She finds that job and she dives in with all the gusto and enjoyment and enthusiasm and she lives that dream life day after day after day. Is there any excitement there? Is there any emotional connection? No, you're glad for her, but no, there's no connection. Here's where it becomes a story. A young woman dreams of the perfect job. She moves to a new city. She finds that job and she dives into it. And every single day she lives with gusto, enthusiasm, and she has so much fun until she discovers her company's deep, dark secret. Now you've got conflict, right? That statement about the deep, dark secret creates all kinds of question in the listener's mind. That's when your story takes on a whole new depth and, and level of importance and connection with the audience. And that's what your business story should also do. In the next video, you're going to hear about the two types of conflict. They're both important, but they're very different. See you in the next tip.